It is Class Act Friday. Chris Raggy is live at James Madison High School. Chris, good morning to you. Ladies, good morning to you as well. Lots of excitement here at James Madison High School. Class Act Friday, we're not letting you down. We've been talking all morning about the fields being renamed in honor of 9-11 hero Danny Sir, famous alum here at James Madison High School. That kind of that mantra of giving back and sacrifice is a hallmark here at James Madison. Two young ladies had an idea. They wanted to basically provide a mentorship program for the younger kids coming into the school. It's a massive place, 3,900 kids. So they went to their principal, and the principal said, you know what, let's do it. Put it into action, and they did. Our students, when we came back, recognized that our ninth graders needed someone they can trust. It wasn't just about meeting and sitting and talking about grades. It was someone they can lean on. So two young ladies, Yeleni and Lene, sit on my principal advisory, and they came up with this idea. Night Guide was born in this very room. It was created by students, by us specifically. Yeah. Night Guide was created to give guidance to freshmen because we personally lost our freshman year to COVID, and it was hard. Yeah. So. These freshmen need someone who knows how hard it is yeah. to help them. We've all been there, incoming freshmen in a big high school with no idea where to go or what to do. Night Guide, playing off the James Madison mascot, the Knights, helps guide the freshman class with older mentors. We are all a community, and that's what we want to do. We want to feel, we want to let everybody know that they're welcome here. The girls' idea has taken off. Over 300 freshmen are enrolled in more than 100 upperclassmen, including a number of football players. Ms. Cohen pulled me aside when I was at an original, like the internship, uh, mentorship meeting. Uh, she said it would be such a benefit to, for me to be on the principal's advisory, and uh, it just gives so many opportunities for the freshmen to develop as high schoolers. It's been great, especially um, since we didn't have mentors when we were freshmen. Yeah. It's good to leave them in the right direction and keep them on track. I was new into the school and I was like, I'm, I can't like navigate a school as big as this like all by myself. So I'm going to take someone who's like experienced, knows their way around the building and just let them help me. Some kids welcomed the help. Others needed a little nudge. Really my mom and my sister because they really thought that I would need some help yeah. figuring my way around the school and getting used to it and they're right. Mom's always right, right? Yeah. <laughs> How about you? Did you need a push or did you, was it something you knew once you walked in that you wanted to do? Um, like same thing with Gabriel, like my mom and my brother because my brother, he had a mentor too and my mom was like, oh, he did very good with it and really helped him out and he was like, just do it. Yeah, just do it. And we've got a couple of mentors with us, Gabrielle and Marquise are with us, and also the principal, Principal Cohen. You must be so proud uh, of Lene and Yulene when they came to you and said, we've got this idea, and you told them, go do it, and they did. It is just incredible to see how students just take it and run with it. Our school's instructional focus is what's next for creative freedom over your future, and they really define that creative freedom. And Gabrielle and Marquise are yeah. two other mentors, and when we were speaking in the back, they said, Ms. Cohen, we want to give a shout out to three of our teachers who define it. Yeah. We want to give a shout out to Donna Rotundi, Ned Campbell, and Mike Champy, three teachers at home recovering yeah. from pretty serious illness. But that's what they represent. Yeah. And Thank what you. was it like being a part of this, being a mentor? I mean, you guys are. You're helping out the younger kids. Probably the kind of help you guys wish you had when you were younger. Oh, my gosh. I wish I had a mentor when I was younger. And this is why it drives me to be a mentor, because I want to be the support system that I wanted when I was in freshman year. Yeah. And it just it helps you with life. You create new memories, and you build important skills. And a lot of friends, too. Great relationships. Marquis, let me talk to you. you got a whole lot going on. you got the football game tomorrow. You're a mentor here. Um, you got to keep the grades up to stay on the field. I know Coach is tough on you guys. Uh, but what's it like being able to, to kind of give back and teach some of the younger kids where to go and what to do? Right? Yeah, like Gabby said, it's a great opportunity to give the students younger than us a different different role of leadership, not just from adults, but from students as well. Yeah. You nervous about tomorrow? You got a big one. Uh, yeah, it's just another game. <laughs> just another football game, right? Sorry. Hey, thank you for getting up here early. We re really appreciate you. Thank you for the mentorship program. Principal, thank you. Thank and to this entire student body, truly, truly class acts here at James Madison High School. We're going to send it to break. We'll be back in just a couple of seconds on this Friday broadcast of CBS 2 News this morning live from Brooklyn.